everyone, it's Amanda with Meyer Hatchery. I've been raising heritage turkeys for going on four years now, and because I live in a climate where the weather changes and we get extreme temperatures, I've had to adjust my housing in order to maintain a healthy flock. Usually in the summertime, I raise my turkeys out on pasture, but now that it's winter time and the temperatures are dropping, I had to come up with a different plan. There's no one size fits all, but number one, you wanna make sure they have an area to protect themselves and to shelter themselves from extreme weather. So come along with me as I give you some tips and tricks on keeping turkeys in the winter. So what's great about turkeys is they have so many layers of feathers and down, and that's what keeps them warm in the cold temperatures. Tonight we are about 14 degrees with negative degree wind chills. And even inside this barn, it is still very cold. I can still see my breath, my glasses are fogging up, but these guys are unfazed because they have so many layers of protection keeping them warm. Now I love how cold hardy turkeys are, but they still need some special accommodations, especially if you live where you get extreme weather or extreme cold. Uh, we live in Northeast Ohio. Our current temperature is 14 degrees, but we do get in single digits and negative digits, especially with the wind chill this time of year. So you wanna think about having an area where you can protect them from the element, elements, where they can retreat when the weather gets bad. For us, it was converting an old barn stall uh, to be their turkey winter chalet, um, but it can look like many different things. Another thing you wanna consider in the winter with your turkeys is ventilation. With any type of poultry, you're gonna want a little bit of ventilation, something to let the bad air out and let the good air in. For us, we've got this window, but we only leave it a little bit cracked just enough to get a little bit of breeze in because the temperatures are so low. Um, we also have open barn windows into the internal space of the barn. So there's a lot of airflow that gets to go through this stall. Also, keep your bedding nice and dry. <laughs> yes, just like Fred said, keep it dry. Whether you're using straw or shavings, keep it dry. All right, now let's talk perches. Turkeys like to roost up high. Uh, my stall doesn't allow them to go super high, but it at least gets them off the ground, which is very important. And let's face it, these are large birds, so you're gonna need a larger perch space. They have large feet, so I recommend a perch with at least four inches wide. It allows them to lay their feet flat and get their bodies up and over them, keeping them nice and toasty, since they're more prone to frostbite. You're also going to want a wider space between each perch, allowing the length of the birds to roost comfortably. Having fresh defrosted water available for your birds is also necessity. I like to use just a hook on the wall, plastic bucket here, and then I use a water de-icer. I love these things. Um, I've used the same de-icer going on five years and they work great. It doesn't make the water hot. It just keeps it warm enough to keep it from freezing and it works great, especially if you're using a smaller bucket. If you don't have electricity in your space, another great option is a rubber bowl. They're great, you just fill them up. You will have to check them throughout the day if you are having freezing temperatures, but because they flex, it's very easy to knock the ice out of it in order to refill it. And of course, free choice food. We have two feeders here just in case we add on to our little flock. But right now, one feeder serves us just fine, and we just keep it full and they eat free choice all throughout the day. And for an extra cold weather treat and to help keep them warm overnight, you can give them a bit of cracked corn or some oats, and the extra carbohydrates will help keep them nice and warm and toasty. Turkeys are so much fun to raise, and with just a few little adjustments, you could be successful raising them in the winter as well. For more things poultry, be sure to follow us here on YouTube. Also, 
follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to our newsletter. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to chat us on the website, send us an email, or give us a call.